what is life with Jason? I started the blog nine years ago back in November 2011. Uh, I didn't really have a vision or a purpose. Uh, I just like to take pictures and I wanted to share it with whoever cared to see. At the time, my two biggest inspirations, I think, were Jay from JDM Ego and Freddy from RA64 Freddy. Uh, those two were the OGs of self-run motorsport blogs, just pure and wholesome content to me. Uh, I would be at work or at home refreshing those two hourly just to see new shit. Platforms like Instagram were still in its early stages and print media was still our main source of good content and I, I just wanted to contribute to that. I really tried to focus on keeping the blog on the automotive side of things, but I always photographed everything back in the day. Uh, I, I took pictures of everything. Eventually I just said screw it, I'm posting whatever I want and it kind of worked out because I guess it was life with Jason after all. Over the years, uh, the blog has become an amalgamation of literally everything in my life, from cars to friends and now to my wife and girls. It's totally awesome that people can just click a link and sort of just skim the surface uh, of me personally. I, and I don't find it intrusive because I post only what I want to share. When I build my cars, it's a constant and almost never ending thought process in my head 24 seven. I'm always thinking of parts and mixing and matching them in my head. Sometimes I'll revisit certain ideas or I'll trash it altogether. And other times if I just let it simmer long enough, a light bulb will turn on and I'll know that's the one. Uh, I usually never press the trigger until I see that light. It's a very tiring and frustrating process, but uh, it's usually worth it in the end. There was a time late last year when I almost shut down like Jason. I literally almost turned off the lights and closed the doors because I felt like I ran out of the motivation that brought me here in the first place. We had Aria and then Rin came along and I felt like the best thing to do would be to put 100% of my focus on my family. I think this is the part where I thank my wife Diana for insisting not to turn off those lights just yet. She reminded me of all the memories on there and that if I ran out of the energy to maintain it now, someday uh, I might find it again, and until then, everyone could wait. So I listened to her, and the blog stayed stagnant for what felt like forever, but here we are again. And I know it's really cliche to say things like that, but it's true. You might not have the energy to do it today or tomorrow, but it will come back. Photography to me is an outlet and kind of like a way of self-expression. How you shoot and edit is how people recognize you when they see your pictures. Uh, I first got into photography when I got my first car and I joined the forums with the photography section where people posted their pro pics and I looked at them and admired them daily, wondering how can I take pictures like that. I had nothing fancy at the time, uh, a cheap Canon point and shoot and literally a large bucket for a tripod. I know there's some people listening to this right now probably laughing because I did in fact do photo shoots of their cars with that exact setup. Uh, then one year my parents finally bought me my first SLR uh, for my birthday and that was really the turning point for me. I think one of the coolest parts about being in the car scene and being a photographer is meeting a bunch of different people with different visions and passions like uh, an import tuner talks a slightly different language than a domestic tuner, and it's that kind of difference that interests and inspires me. There's more to the scene than your build or what you're into, and I think that's an important thing to accept.
think my biggest motivation is really to be better than the person I was in the past. It sounds like a really common thing, but I think after a while you start to realize that trying to be better than anyone other than yourself builds resentment rather than accomplishment. The blog helps me do that because I can look back at each passing year and decide what I need to improve on. It's a good form of reflection for me. I know there are a lot of people uh, that have told me that they wanted to do a blog but never get around to it. My advice to you guys is just to start off doing it for you and to continue doing it for you, not for the clout or the social media points. And if you keep doing you, you'll find it becomes more fulfilling to post and watch yourself grow than to watch your hit counter or engagements. There's too much emphasis on followers and views these days that sometimes it takes away from your personal fulfillment. I think one of my favorite things about life with Jason is not just being able to show my pictures, but also how many people I've been able to help. From random DIYs that I posted years ago to just informative little blurbs about photography. I mean, there are still moms out there that reach out to me about Aria's eczema solution thanking me for posting it. and. If you Google how to take rolling shots, my post from 2013 is the first hit. It's exciting when people talk about a post from like seven years ago that I completely forgot about and it just goes to show that high quality content can and does live on. There are a ton of people that have helped make life with Jason worth it over the years and I don't mean that it's made me rich or famous, uh, no matter how much uh, I wish that were to be true. Uh, some that I never talk to anymore and some that I just talked to yesterday. Uh, they've made it worth it because every single picture and word on that blog right now is frozen in time and at one point they were good times. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that continues to support me just by knowing Life with Jason. And I hope that it continues to be something I can continue going forward.